So let's also record this session. So let's can look at it. So Silver also, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so have you done any uh, Kundalini Yoga, Vedatri Maharishi practices so far, yeah, or uh, this is the first time you are uh, joining? Uh, no, I, I I know uh, Agni uh, Dhriyam. Dhriyag. Oh, or, wow, wow. So this is mainly for my son, actually. So I want okay, to okay. start <laughs> okay. with the exercise. So. Okay. Okay, well, your son has joined uh, today? Yeah, yeah, he is also with me. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool. Okay, so exercises, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> so, we, uh, so in this session, what we will do is uh, uh, we will uh, look at the need for the exercises as well as high level overview of uh, simplified physical exercises, guidelines, then the, the actual exercise, the movements. So, uh, the way we are going to do is there is a demo already. Uh, the exercise demo is already there. We will, uh, after going through a few of these slides, we'll go through the video and talk about it. And, and if there are any questions, we will answer. Right. So then the demo that was uh, recorded already available, which is like, it, it, has, uh, it is very clear. So, but uh, we'll, we'll show that and discuss if there is uh, anything. Okay, and then also we'll go through the benefits. Okay, yeah. yeah. So need for physical exercises, uh, definitely we are, uh, our physical work, uh, labor work has uh, reduced considerably in recent times. Uh, and uh, uh, mem <coughs> uh, and we do like more of mental uh, work or like a lot of time, whether the kids or the adults, we are in front of computer or devices rather than the actual physically moving. Um, and we have machines have replaced manual work we have cars, all comforts are there, right? Even if the manual work is done, uh, it is only for specific parts, uh, minimally. And uh, <clears throat> and in the complicated, you know, elaborate complicated yoga systems of olden days, right? Cannot be followed in this, uh, the hurry times, right? We have very really limited uh, time. Then the things start morning 7.38, you have to be available for other things. Um, so, uh, so that, that it has to be time bound, but has to cover everything, right? And definitely, uh, uh, like mind, uh, sound body is, is very important for the sound mind. Only when your body is healthy, your mind will uh, think clearly as well. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, the other health benefits are also. So yeah, physical exercise is a must for successful meditation as well. Because if the, if the body is not not uh, comfortable, then your mind is not focused on specific things. Your uh, your mind will think about the the body parts. And suitable simplified exercise schedule is needed for the modern age with a time limit. So these exercises have been developed by Vedatri Sri Vedatri Maharishi. Uh, just a moment. Various uh, exercise practices were evaluated and best was taken, right? So Vedatri Maharishi has uh, a lot of medical background. Uh, he has practiced different medicines and he, he knows the, the workings of the, uh, how the body works, right? As well as uh, body-mind science, he knows. And he is an enlightened uh, person. He, he meditated and got enlightened. So with this knowledge uh, of the both mind and uh, body, then, then he came up with all these exercises, which will cover the entire uh, organs of the body, right? Not only the uh, internal, uh, external, external organs, internal organs as well, right? And then he understood that between body and the mind, the life force, there is a three layer, blood circulation, heat circulation, and air circulation, right? We breathe in, our blood constantly flows. There is always a heat is produced within the body. 
they all have to be flow properly. So if you don't do exercise, what will happen is that the blood flow would be affected. Our air flow, we are not properly taking the oxygen that is needed by the body, right? So to maintain, uh, considering all those factors, this exercise is where uh, arrived. Okay, and gentle exercises, right? Uh, uh, easy to practice, no side effects. Uh, so that, that that's also very important. Anybody can do it. Anybody above uh, eight years can uh, do it. Maximum 40 minutes, 40 minutes, like uh, generally 30, 35 minutes is fine. You should do it on a mat. Uh, 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 if, if you already have in your home, like one of the room has in the mat, you could do, do it there. But otherwise, if it is like a hard floor, put a mat and uh, uh, do it. And do, to be done on an empty stomach, if you have uh, uh, water like after uh, half an hour, if you have solid food after four hours, and woman not to do the monthly cycle. Pregnant woman, uh, of course, in the, uh, in the, there is a, uh, some specific exercises, uh, Makarasana and uh, some couple of poses of neuromuscular breathing exercise, they shouldn't do it. Okay, so let's, let's get into the, the core of the thing, right? So we, uh, we have Makarasiya's device 10 exercises which covers the all the uh, organs of the body, all the areas, right? You do for everything, everything is covered. Everything, uh, your body works perfectly, right? I mean, you constantly, there is no blockages um, and your uh, capacity is increased, right? So there are, these are the exercises that were uh, uh, devised by Magrisi. Uh, there are nine set, hand exercises, leg exercises, Neuromuscular breathing exercises, eye exercises, kapalabhati, makarasana, massage, acupressure, and relaxation. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the, the uh, video. Uh, let's let's I'll pause the video. Uh, if you want to, uh, what is what is your uh, what is your son's uh, name? His name, that son or daughter? Uh, son, yeah, uh, son. Okay, yeah. So if you want to practice it when we show the demo, also fine. Or you can uh, you can watch the video and do it later. Either way, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. So from the uh, screen, share sound, okay. Okay, let me know if you are able to hear the sound as well. Benefits of these exercises are Okay. Circulation of blood. We are able to hear you? Yeah? yeah, okay. Yeah, I can able to hear. Okay. And once we do the one set of exercises, then, then we'll talk about any questions. Uh, then we'll go to the next set of exercises. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Heat, air, and life force in hands and arms become normal and regular. Hands and shoulders are strengthened. Arthritis and conditions where the upper limbs become numb during rest are controlled. Pains in shoulder joints and knee joints are reduced. Trembling of hands and pains in finger joints are cured. Stand erect and keep the feet 6 inches, that is 15 centimeters apart. 
lift the hands above the head to the full stretch and join the palms and fingers together the arms should be close to the ears keep the arms up in the same position for four complete breaths then bring the arms down to the thighs and rest for two complete breaths again lift the hands above the head to the full stretch and join the palms and fingers together keep the arms up in the same position for four complete breaths then bring the arms down to the thighs and rest for two complete breaths for the third time lift the hands above the head to the full stretch and join the palms and fingers together keep the arms up in the same position for four complete breaths then bring the arms down to the thighs and rest for two complete breaths spread the hands side so what we did uh, in the first one was raise your hands above your head take a four breaths right breathe out normal breaths right breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out four breaths then bring the hands down right uh, to the side of the thighs and you will have like two breaths like that three cycles first okay so in the hand exercises second part ways at the shoulder level let the palms face in front move both the arms to the front at 90 degrees to the chest and join the palms and fingers in front of the chest exhale while bringing the hands together spread the hands by moving them sideways to the back at the shoulder level inhale while stretching the hands sideways do this exercise 5 times by waving the hands front and back bring the arms down stand erect join the fingertips of the right hand rotate the right arm clockwise that is front to back for 5 rounds join the fingertips of the left hand and rotate the left hand clockwise 5 rounds then rotate the right hand anti clockwise from back to front for 5 rounds thereafter rotate the left hand anti clockwise 5 rounds keep the fingers in the position as earlier rotate both the arms clockwise from front to back elbows should be kept straight without bending do this clockwise rotation 5 times then rotate both the arms anti clockwise from back to front do this anti clockwise rotation 5 times mm-hmm. 
join the fingertips of both the hands as earlier keep the right leg one foot in front of the left keep the right arm in front and left arm in the back rotate both arms clockwise simultaneously while the right arm goes into the front the left arm should go to the back and vice versa when the right hand goes up the left hand should go down and vice versa this is like the back stroke in swimming we do this five times then repeat the same in anti clockwise direction for five rotations note in all the postures the head should be remaining straight this so you you got that right you join we join the fingers first uh, one hand back to front we rotated then the other hand again uh, no front to back right you rotate for a few times other hand on the side of the thigh uh, then the again right hand back to front rotate for three to five times then the other hand then rotate the both hand by joining the fingers right so the blood flow to the joints and everything will will uh, will be proper uh, we do the both hands then then bringing the right leg in front right one step forward then you do the uh, back stroke and front stroke right so this is this is what we have done uh, any any questions on this one no yeah we are good we are good right? okay. this exercise will do with open eyes stand erect keeping the feet 18 inches that's 45 cm apart lift your arms to your shoulder height keep the thumbs touching at the tips at a distance of 1 foot in front of your face turn the whole body gently to the right keeping the eyes on the tip of the thumbs when you turn right pivot on the big toe of the left foot and keep the right foot entirely on the ground then turn the whole body jointly to the left when you turn left pivot on the big toe of the right foot and keep the left foot on the ground repeat this exercise five times stand keeping the feet parallel and 3 inches apart place the hands on the knee caps bending the trunk forward bend the knees forward slightly and keep the knees close together rotate the knees together slowly clockwise 3 times then rotate the knees anti clockwise 3 times again rotate the knees clockwise three times we now go to yeah this this kind of covers the the, the hand exercises right this is what we have uh, seen we did the first one just a small gap in the legs raise your hand and the top two breaths and bringing down two breaths right repeat the cycles <clears throat> then uh, on the, the take the hand to the side <clears throat> like bring when you bring in uh, uh breathe, breathe out when you take the hand out to the side uh, breathe in right do it for five times <clears throat> then join the all the fingers together we did like all the different exercises right So all this breath, breath should be normal. So we don't need to be uh, specifically do anything about it. Then, uh, see, generally, the, all the exercises are suggested to be done by closing the eyes. That will uh, 
uh, that will uh, keep your focus on the body that will improve the uh, the exercise quality but this exercise you need to keep your uh, eyes open and look at your thumbnail like just just in front of like one feet in front of your uh, uh, nose right so three times one and a half uh, feet 18 inch feet gap between your legs focus the eyes on the two of the thumbs right and when you turn you look at that right on the, the other other leg if you are turning on the right side the left leg the the, the big toe right that is where uh, you you put the uh, the weight on the other side So circulation of blood here, life force in hands, arms becomes normal and regular. Hands and shoulders are strengthened. Uh, arthritis conditions will be taken care. Pains, if any, our blood circulation will be good. Yeah, a lot of uh, things are explained here. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll share this in the, in the PPT as well so that uh, you, can, you can look at it. But yeah, this is uh, fundamentally it, it takes care of the lubrication of all the joints as well as the blood flow. The knee exercise we looked at it. <clears throat> you bend and uh, clockwise three times, anti clockwise three times, clockwise three times. Knee exercise, same thing, right? Yeah. So now we go to the leg exercises. the leg exercises the benefits are the legs are strengthened blood circulation gets regulated in all parts of the abdomen this exercise is curative and preventive for sciatica and arthritis by pressing and massaging the sole and the toes important organs in the body such as heart lungs intestines and brain are activated sit on the mat stretching the legs sideways keep the feet 18 inches or 45 centimeters apart keep the hands behind on the sides bend the feet inward till the big toes touch the ground or to the extent possible then stretch the feet outward till the little toes touch the ground do this exercise five times in each direction by waving the feet inward and outward. Keep the feet 12 inches or 30 centimeters apart. Turn both the feet simultaneously towards the left so that the little toe of the left foot and the big toe of the right foot touch the floor. Do this exercise five times each side. Keep the feet one foot or 30 centimeters apart. Rotate the feet clockwise five times. Rotate the feet anti clockwise five times. Again, rotate the feet clockwise five times. Foot reflexology. Keep the right. So next we are going to look at the foot reflexology, right? <laughs> Just to, I uh, will anyway see the slides. Uh, all the nerves has uh, they they have an uh, that are running in the body right. They have an uh, ending in the uh, your uh, the the sole right the foot sole. So when you press when you give a little pressure there, it clears it activates those nerves as well as if there if there is a blockages right, uh, those would be removed. 
and all those nerves are connected uh, uh, to different parts of the body so you are uh, by pressing the your uh, feet and the sole right you are actually activating all the organs of the body kind of a slight internal massage and different part of the your uh, uh, the feet is connected to the different uh, part of the body that i will show it in the uh, in the slide as well uh, as well as uh, in the demo it will be explained so it looks simple but this is all well thought through right so that's why the benefits are high that's let's uh, monitor it right foot on the left thigh using both the thumbs of hands press and massage the right foot in the following manner the other four fingers should rest on the outer foot to help apply the pressure evenly first massage your right toe with both the thumbs then massage the next two toes of the foot simultaneously with each thumb the right thumb should massage the second toe and the left thumb should massage the third toe similarly the last two toes should be massaged with both the thumbs then massage the sole of the foot starting from the region below the big toe to the small toe across the foot then come down a little and start from the region below the small toe and massage across the foot to the big toe like this massage the entire foot in a zigzag or criss cross manner no place in your foot should be left untouched you should massage with your thumbs only with the other four fingers of your hands resting on the upper side of your foot what's the difference between a child that gets into a top tier school versus a lower tier school Try then apply the pressure gently on the arch the soft portion of your foot then apply the pressure on the heel then apply pressure by both the hands on the sides of the foot from top to bottom bottom to top and once again from top to bottom the thumbs should press on the inner edge and the other fingers should press on the outer edge of the foot press the parts around the ankle joint the thumbs should press on the inner side of the joint and the other four fingers should press on the outer side next place the right palm over the inner side of the ankle and the left palm on the outer side of the ankle massage the ankles simultaneously on the inner side and the outer side in clockwise direction massage like this for 3 times next massage the ankle in anti clockwise direction 3 times once again massage the ankle simultaneously in clockwise direction 3 times next hold the right leg at the ankle in the right palm and the toes by the left hand rotate the foot using the left hand clockwise with toes going downwards do this exercise 5 times rotate the foot anti clockwise the toes of the foot should go up do this exercise 5 times once again rotate the foot clockwise do this 5 times next apply the pressure with both the hands from ankle up to the knee keep in mind do not press any point too much if you feel pain or tenderness while pressing or massaging that point now keep the left foot on the right thigh apply pressure on the left foot similar to the procedure we followed with the right foot so right now we are only watching the demo right we are not uh... if you are doing it we can wait and uh, you can do the left foot otherwise uh, right take some time right so whatever we have done with the right foot same thing we will do it with the left foot uh, as well
Okay. And uh, when you press the, in the soft portion, right, in the sole and the foot, uh, so uh, the soft portion is connected to the stomach. So stomach organs are uh, uh, very soft organs. So you press uh, gently. Uh, the, the middle, the arc portion, right? So you don't press very hard there. Okay, we'll show, share this video link as well, as well as the PPT. Uh, definitely somebody has to do it, watch it. That's how uh, you will learn it. Um, yeah, so yeah, if you want to do it now, we can uh, watch it or if, if you want to do it later, that is also fine. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sit in the kneeling or Vajrasana posture. Place the right big toe over the left big toe. Keep the heels apart and sit comfortably with bottom on the gap of the heels. Place the hands on the back, touching the spinal column and the two thumbs on the side. Slightly press the back from upper side to the lower side over the kidney region. Do this exercise five times. So we looked at the leg exercises, both coming inward, then both going side and rotated, right clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise. Then pressing the uh, the, the whole uh, the, the toes as well as the the foot sole. In the ankle, we applied the pressure. Ankle must massaging, foot rotation. Yeah, the, you should always use the, the thumbs only to press, the other four fingers uh, on the back side. So these are the different part of the body, right? Uh, the, uh, the big toe is connected to the pituitary gland, head, right? And the next two are eyes, the last two, the uh, toes are like connected to the ears. So all the different organs, this is explained here. And finally, we did the kidney massage. So benefits, legs are strengthened, blood circulation gets regulated, all parts of the abdomen, sciatica, any arthritis are uh, cured, strengthens the pelvic muscles and corrects uh, back ache, balances rotators of the leg. Right, so like it's a leg is a complex mechanism. So all the any anything you are in sports and other things, this is this will be a really good thing, right? So you do uh, a lot of work and this kind of balances it out. So foot all the seventy two thousand nodes are the the, the uh, uh, nerves are ending there, and when you give the pressure, it all the internal organs that are connected get stimulated, and any any uh, defective functions get cured. Okay, so next let's go to the neuromuscular breathing exercises. We now go to the neuromuscular breathing exercises. It has a number of benefits, regulates the endocrine system and oxygenizes the blood. These exercises regulate the endocrine system and oxygenize the blood. These exercises regulate the endocrine system and oxygenize the blood. They ventilate the lungs and increase the vital energy. They help in curing headache, insomnia, asthma and other bronchial troubles. Tiredness is not felt even after working for a full day. Students are benefited in the studies due to increase in absorbing capacity, retention capacity and recalling capacity. Functioning of the nervous system is improved. Sit in the kneeling posture, that is Vajrasana, with the right big toe over the left big toe. 
keep your knees close together rest your bottom comfortably on the heels join the index finger and thumb of each hand forming a ring this is chin mudra stretch out the other three fingers fix the joint fingers between the thighs and the abdomen and the other fingers over your thighs inhale slowly and deeply exhale slowly and simultaneously bend forward as much as possible without any strain your bottom should not be raised off the heels while bending forward the spinal cord neck and head should be in a straight line then inhale slowly and deeply and simultaneously raise the body to the upright position do this breathing exercise 5 times Maintain the kneeling posture. Bend both the thumbs onto the palms of both hands. Close the four fingers over the thumb and keep the fist joint on your lap. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly and deeply and simultaneously bend forward. Then inhale slowly and deeply. while raising the body to the upright position do this exercise 5 times keep in mind that in both the exercises you should not bend your neck or head sit comfortably in a cross leg position sukhasana cover the navel with the right palm and the right ear with the left palm the folded left arm should touch and press the left chest keep the body erect and face straight inhale and exhale slowly and deeply without retention of breath so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to expand the different part of the lungs right so in the first this posture uh, what is being done is you are uh, uh, the biceps right it is putting a slight pressure on your left chest so when you breathe in your right side of the lungs and back side is expanded but the left front side is kind of blocked right so it kind of expands your uh, it, it's like a exercise to your uh, lungs um uh, it, it's a uh, uh, to tell you uh uh we you know right i mean the the lungs is a critical uh, uh thing right so when you uh, to increase your uh, the inhaling capacity the lungs has to work appropriately so because of whatever uh, ways we do right we do not actually breathe in with full capacity so when you do this exercise expand different parts of the lungs it's like exact uh, uh, muscle increase right you are you are making your lungs take the oxygen uh, fully so that kind of uh, your uh, uh, concentration memory capacity a lot of things would be improved uh, by doing it. it looks very simple but it is very effective well thought through one so first one first posture for our uh, i is doing right now is is like uh, expanding the right and back side of the lungs putting a slight pressure on the left uh, front next would be uh, right side so you you will see it i'll also explain again if needed by doing this 
a slight pressure is created on the front of the left lung when a deep breath is drawn the back of the left lung and the entire right lung are fully expanded do this deep breath 5 times change your hands to the opposite side cover the navel with the left palm and the left ear with the right palm inhale and exhale slowly and deeply do not retain your breath at any stage by doing this exercise a slight pressure is created on the front of the right lung when a deep breath is drawn the back of the right lung and the entire left lung are filled with air and are fully expanded do this breathing exercise 5 times cover the right ear with the left palm and the left ear with the right palm your left forearm should touch your chest and the right forearm should be over your left forearm inhale and exhale slowly and deeply do not retain your breath at any stage by this exercise the back portions of both the lungs or fully expanded so the front side of the lungs is like it's kind of blocked and back side is expanded so basically you are uh, when I mean, you take normal breath back side will not expand fully right now by doing this you are ensuring that your when you take breath in a normal time your back side is also expanding fully and you are taking more oxygen which is the uh, and more prana which is like uh, energy for the body do this breathing exercise five times cover the right ear with the right palm and the left ear with the left palm spreading the arms sideways fingers should touch the back side of the head inhale and exhale slowly and deeply here both the lungs are fully expanded do deep breathing five times cup your hands and do palming of the eyes with the left palm over the left eye and the right palm over the right eye the eyes should be closed inhale and exhale slowly and deeply do this breathing exercise 5 times keep in mind that in each of these seven postures we do not retain our breath after inhalation or exhalation we will now do the eye exercises yeah that completes the the uh, exercises right the neuromuscular breathing exercise that expands your lungs and uh, and ensures that when you breathe normally over the day you are actually getting more capacity even if it is like 20 30% increased it it be a big thing so that's why you even you work for the entire day uh, your uh, energy level is is maintained uh, definitely higher so let's go to the next exercise eye exercise it's definitely important for all of us uh, considering the how much screen time we have uh, one until the other one right so yeah let's let's uh, look at this as well the benefits are this exercise helps us to correct the defective eyesight by toning up the muscles around the eyes it prevents eye strain itching and other eye diseases by continuous practice one can reduce the use of spectacles sit comfortably in the kneeling posture vajrasana or in sukhasana and clasp hands 
with the thumbs together and upright raise the clasped hands to a level slightly lower than the eyes and keep the elbows slightly bent focus the sight on the thumbnails keep this posture throughout the eye exercise swing the hands horizontally to the right and left the eyes should move from left to the extreme right and from there back to the extreme left give a slight swing of the head to follow the hands but the head should not be turned fully the movement should be semi circular do this exercise 5 times in the same posture with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails keep your hands on your lap lift the hands vertically upwards as far as possible and bring them down to the lap swinging the eyes up and down along with the hands the eyes should move in unison with the up and down movement of the hands you may move your head slightly but should not turn up or down totally do this exercise 5 times to remember the above two exercises keep in mind the plus sign the horizontal sign followed by the vertical line horizontal line followed by the vertical line sitting in the same posture keep your hands near the outside of your left thigh move the hands up and down diagonally starting from the left lower corner to the right upper corner then bring your hands back to the starting point outside the left thigh with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails your neck will turn slightly do this exercise 5 times sitting in the same posture keep your hands near your right thigh the eyes should remain focused on the thumbnails move the hands up and down diagonally starting from the right lower corner the thigh to the left upper corner the shoulder then bring your hands back to the outside of the right thigh with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails all the above movements should be semi circular do this exercise 5 times to remember the above two exercises keep in mind the multiplication symbol posture 5 in the same posture with the eyes fixed on the thumbnails keep your hands on your lap slowly move the hands and arms in a big circle in clockwise direction stretch your arms as much as possible to form a big circle the eyes should move freely following the direction of the thumb move your head slightly with the rotation do this exercise 5 times repeat the above in anti clockwise direction do this exercise 5 times draw the hands close to the eyes at a distance of 3 inches or 7.5 cm from the nose tip by bending the elbows then extend the hands away from the eyes fully straightening the arms then bring your hands back close to your nose tip by bending the elbows repeat this to and fro movement 5 times all the while keeping the eyes on the thumbnails palming eye relaxation after completing the eye exercises practice palming your eyes lightly cover your closed left eye with your left palm and your closed right eye with your right palm fingers of the left hand should touch the center of the forehead and the fingers of the right hand 
should be placed over the left hand fingers. Relax like this for full one minute. Okay. So in the eye exercise, uh, I have in the uh, when in the mode, he moved his head uh, more. That's what I uh, 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 I felt. You can move your head slightly. Eyes only should follow the in the hand uh, movement. The head can slightly move, not not too much. Uh, and this, when you do this ex eye exercises, the, except in the la last two ones, right, where you bring the uh, the thumbs closer to your nose, taking it further away, all the other ones were uh, related to the, the uh, exercising the eye muscles. The the, the last one where you uh, bring the thumbs closer to your nose and taking it further away, that is like more for your uh, uh, your block part, right? I uh, the eye lens, right? So, and the last one, of course, uh, giving a energy and relaxation to the eyes when you do the palming. When you do the palming, ensure that you close your eyes all the other time. You keep your eyes open. Okay. Now let's go to the Kapala body exercise. This is again an important exercise, right? Where, uh, for whatever reasons. Our blood flow or uh, uh, any any sinus area, right? Where uh, uh, where you breathe in and other things. If there are any blockages, this will be removed as well as it pumps the energy to the brain and other places. So Kamalpati is another important exercise. Uh, if you have hernia or any other health problems, or not uh, any other health problem, hernia or blood pressure, then you do it gently or avoid it. But others can can do this Kamalpati exercise. Okay, let's look at it. We will now do the Kapalabhati. The benefits are sinus problems are cured, dust and other particles in the nose and sinuses are removed, the body becomes energized, and the supply of blood to brain increases. Kapalabhati should be done with eyes closed. Sit comfortably in the normal posture, that is Sukhasana. Close the left nostril with the left thumb. Exhale forcefully through the right nostril. Then inhale lightly through the same right nostril. Then close the right nostril with the index finger of the left hand. And at the same time, remove the left thumb from the left nostril. Exhale forcefully through the left nostril. And inhale lightly through the same left nostril. Repeat this sequence 10 times. Rest for one minute. This is one cycle. Do totally three such cycles. During this practice, the breath should not be retained or stopped. While exhaling, the breath should be forcefully let out. Inhaling is done gently and naturally. The mouth should be kept closed at all times. Please keep in mind that those with high blood pressure, hernia or heart problems need not do this exercise and if they do it, they should do it very lightly. So, what uh, you should do three times. We use the left index finger right, and the thumb. So you forcefully exhale. There is there has to be a force, right? With a, with a force, you do exhale. Inhale would be very natural. We don't need to retain the breath. Just exhale both sides, right? Automatically inhale will happen. And when you do it, uh, uh, you need to do the Mula Bandha. Uh, uh, Mula Bandha is like tightening your anus muscles, right? So Mula Bandha and uh, do this, right? You have to do it three cycles. Like each cycle is like uh, 10. 10 times, right? Like one cycle is like breathe out and uh, breathe out on both sides is one cycle, like like that 10 times. That is, I mean, like uh, uh, that is one cycle and take one minute of rest, then uh, do it again. One minute of rest, then do it again, right? So that will be three cycles. So, yeah, so you need to breathe out forcefully so that any, any blockages is, is removed, okay? 
any questions uh, here? There is no other questions. Uh, let's take a minute break, then we'll start with the Let's take a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start at 10.35 a.m. CST. So we have three more minutes. If you want to have a quick break or something, then when you come back. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, yeah. Can we get uh, started? So, look at Okay, yeah, yeah. So, we saw all these things. Anyway, we share the. Uh, the first two part of uh, the neuromuscular breathing exercise, yeah. So it will, uh, it will any a uh, lot of times, right? I mean, like our stomach, uh, um, what if they they are they are not in a proper uh, shape? So that this exercise also helps bringing it to the right place in the organs. So that, that is also helpful. And all this breathing exercise it expands the lungs. Uh, so different portion of the lungs are expanded in different postures. So kind of exercises the lungs. We have heard about exercising the biceps and arms and everything. So this is like exercising your internal organs. We saw the eye exercise. Then we saw the kabar. Right mouth should be closed. All times exhaling, breathing should be forcefully let out. Sinus problems are uh, removed. Like a lot of times, anything happens internally, it creates a block. Then, then the problem uh, expands, right? And uh, you you will realize that some part of your uh, uh, the breathing passage is blocked. That that kind of uh, creates more problems. So when you do this exercise regularly, all these uh, uh, breathing pathways are cleared. Body becomes energized. Supply of blood to brain increases, and everything is taken care. So next is Makarasana. This is a very uh, important exercise, uh, both for adults, kids, uh, uh, young adults, right? <clears throat> and uh, uh, we, we do like a lot of different things, but uh, the most important part, right, which is the spinal cord, which is like, of course, the head is the most important head, cord, heart, and other things. Spinal cord is the one which connects everything, right? And uh, and any problem with the spinal cord is is uh, is uh, spinal cord has to be had kept uh, uh, healthy, uh, flexible, and all that good, right? So Magarasana helps in uh, actually when you and then the twist that we are going to talk about in Magarasana, you will turn your head on one your one side, body on the other side, right? And the second uh, uh, side, like you will do uh, in a different posture, right? Head on one side, body on the other side. When you do that the different portion of your spinal cord is twisted. When you twist that, any, any nerves or anything, blockages, everything is removed. And it is a very safe exercise to do, right? I mean, uh, even when you have a back pain, you can do this exercise and back pain will, will go away. There are other exercises when you do it, you actually get good, the pain would become more, right? This, this one really helps relieve those. Very safe exercise. So in the demo, we will see how do you do it. So when you do the different poses, different parts of the, the your spinal cord is twisted. When the twisting happens, that that uh, uh, clears any blockages, uh, strengthens those part of the spinal cord. Okay. We'll we'll see it in the video. Uh, you will also do the magarasana on the back side, right? When you're lying down there on the back side. When you do it in the back side, your body and the head will move in the same direction. But the other side of the hand, the palms which are down, right? Uh, one side of the palm will face up. So you will see it in the demo video. Here also from uh, back to uh, like above, right? Slowly it is in the spinal uh, cord is twisted and it becomes healthy and uh, flexible. And it also uh, helps for uh, adults, right? Where whomever has like uh, uh, addition like extra uh, fat or muscles on the uh, uh, on the stomach area, right? Those those extra unwanted flesh is completely definitely removed. I have seen it uh, multiple times. I sometimes don't do it for some time. Have like eat this that and everything. Uh, then increase weight increases. Then you do it. Then again you become fit. So it, it's like a very very helpful exercise and makes you uh, energetic and relaxed for the whole day.
strengthens the abdominal muscles, normalizes the activity of the endocrine glands. All the gland, glands, right, which are closer to the parent gland, those those are all those activities are those glands are normalized. Diabetes, heart attacks, hypertension, hip pain, spinal pain, neck pain, everything is relieved. Spinal column is systematically twisted from bottom to top. The backbone and discs get strengthened. All nerves emanating from the backbone are strengthened. Legs and abdominal region are strengthened. Obesity is reduced. For women, it regulates the menstrual cycle and helps to cure uterus problems. Okay, let's go to the video. Why is this? While exhaling, the breath should be forcefully let out. The backbone and the discs get strengthened. All the nerves emanating from the backbone are strengthened. Legs and abdominal region are again strengthened. The legs and abdominal region are strengthened. Obesity is reduced. For women, it regulates the menstrual system and helps to cure the uterus problems. Makarasana consists of two parts. In part A of the Makarasana, the basic posture is lying down flat on the back. The hands are kept at 45 degrees to the body with the palms facing up. The tips of the thumb and the fingertips of each hand are joined together like a ring. The other three fingers should be stretched. This is known as Chin Mudra. Join the feet together so that the heels and big toes of both the feet touch each other. Now turn your head to the right side, simultaneously turning the body to the left side. Take care that the shoulders are not raised from the ground. Return to the normal lying position. Now turn the head to the left side and twist the body to the right side, keeping the shoulders on the ground. Do this twist three times to each side. Turning the head to the right and then to the left makes one set. We do three similar sets. Please remember that when the head turns to the right, the body twists to the left and vice versa. This twist should be mastered well to understand the rest of the exercises. Bend the knees. The heels should be brought near the thighs and kept on the floor. In this position, do the same twist to the head and body as we did earlier. Turn the head to the right side and twist the body and the knees to the left side. Then turn the head to the left side and twist the body and knees to the right side. Keep the shoulders on the floor. While turning, knees should not be spread. Stretch the legs. Keep the right foot crossed over the left foot at the ankle. In this position, do the same twist of head and body as we did earlier. Turn the head to the right side and the body to the left side. Do this on the other side with the head turning to the left side and torso to the right side. Keep the knees straight while doing the exercise. Do this three times on each side. In the same position, keep the left foot. Check out this verbo. Oh, man. Michael, they're your cousins. Crossed over the right foot at the ankle. Do the same twist. Turn the head to the right side and body to the left. Then turn the head to the left and body to the right. The knees should not be bent and shoulders should not be raised from the floor. Do this three times on each side. Keep the right ankle between the big toe and the next toe of the left foot. Do the twist. Turn the head to the right and body to the left. The big toe of the right foot should touch the floor. The shoulders should not be lifted from the floor. 
then turn the head to the left and body to the right. Do this twist three times on each side. Keep the left ankle between the big toe and the next toe of the right foot. Repeat the same twist. Turn the head to the right and body to the left. Turn the head to the left and body to the right. The big toe of the left foot should touch the floor. Do this three times. Raise your fists and legs above the ground. Stretch your right leg and right hand simultaneously and draw back your left hand and left leg. Then stretch the left leg and left hand in front and simultaneously draw back the right leg and right hand as much as possible. Move your legs as you do in cycling. The movement should be elliptical and cyclic. Stretch your legs to full length and keep them above the ground. The heels should not touch the floor. The head should remain on the floor. Do this exercise 10 times. After finishing this exercise, relax your body. Keep the fingers of the hands free. Keep both the legs apart. Relax for a minute in this posture. We will now go to Makarasana Part B. In the second half, that is Part B of the Makarasana, the basic position is lying on one's stomach. The hands are kept on both sides at 45 degrees to the body with the palms facing downwards. Keep the legs straight. Join the feet together so that the big toes and the heels of both the feet touch each other. Turn the head to the right with the left cheek resting on the ground and twist the body to the extreme right. The right palm should be flat on the floor. The left palm should be turned to face upwards. Now turn the head to the left with the right cheek resting on the ground and twist the body to the extreme left. The palms should flip so that the left palm is flat on the floor and the right palm faces upwards. While twisting, as far as possible, the shoulders should not raise off the floor. Repeat the twist three times on each side. Bend the legs and the knees. Keep both the feet joined together from big toe to the heel. The chest should be placed firmly on the floor. Do the twist by turning the head and body to the right side. The right palm touches the floor and the left palm faces upwards. Then turn the head and body to the left side. Turn the left palm facing downwards and the right palm facing upwards. Do this exercise three times on each side. Keep the right foot crossed over the left foot at the ankle. Turn the head and body to the right side. The right palm touches the floor and the left palm faces upwards. The chest and shoulders should not be lifted. Now turn the head and body to the left side. Turn the left palm pressing the floor and the right palm facing upwards. Do this exercise three times on each side. Keep the left foot over the right foot crossing at the ankles. Repeat the twist by turning. Turning the head and body to the right and then turn the head and body to the left. Remember to turn the hands also simultaneously. Do this exercise three times. Raise the right foot. Keep the big toe and the next toe of the right foot on either side of the left ankle. The left ankle is in between the big toe and the next toe of the right foot. Repeat the twist by turning the head and body to the right. The right heel should touch the floor. The knees should be straight. Turn the head and body to the left. The shoulders should not be raised. Do this exercise three times on each side. Raise the left foot. Keep the right ankle between the big toe and the next toe of the left foot. Repeat the twist by turning the head and body to the right. 
the left heel should touch the floor then turn the head and body to the left do this exercise 3 times on each side now you should keep the eyes open keep the arms raised and bent at the elbows extend the fingers and keep the middle fingers touching each other just below the face raise the head chest and the hands from the ground keep the legs extended straight now turn the body from the waist to the right and fold the right leg in such a way that the calf muscles of the right leg touch the right thigh now turn the body from the waist to the left whichever side the head turns the leg of that side should be folded the other leg being kept straight the whole exercise will resemble the movement of a crocodile do five twists on each side turn your face to the right side placing the left cheek on the floor stretch the left leg on the floor bend the right hand at the elbow place the right hand above your head with palm facing downward place the left arm by your side with the palm facing upwards close your eyes relax for a minute in this posture we will now do the massage any questions about makarasana uh, the twisting has to be mastered yeah yeah we are good then okay uh, you you do the exercise you know the exercise yeah anyway you would have uh... Uh, correct i am also trying to help him to teach uh... okay okay anyway just 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 as a kick start and you can also always uh, guide him yeah. yeah if there is anything yeah, we can we can always reach out as well yeah okay sure. yeah let's go to the next one massage exercise yeah for three more so we are we are almost there next 30 minutes we should uh, conclude yeah let's go to the massage exercise yeah. everything has its uh, uh, own value so it it's uh, better we do uh, uh, everything right uh, because of uh, each one complements other things something might be hard it might be giving different benefits something might be streamlining things so massage is something like which will kind of uh, whatever the energy that is circulating now it will kind of streamline those stuff so let's look at massage the benefits of massage are it regulates the flow of biomagnetism in stomach and chest the internal organs are strengthened it helps to cure the hearing problems and regulates the functioning of the ear it also regulates the blood circulation in face and makes the face bright lie down on the back keep the whole body totally relaxed close your eyes now keep your right palm above the navel massage around the navel clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times place your right hand over the left lung massage around the left lung clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times keep your left hand over the right lung massage around the right lung clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and clockwise 3 times fix the right thumb in the ear pit of the right ear and the left thumb in the ear pit of the left ear rotate the thumbs clockwise 3 rounds anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times then press and massage all parts of the external ears including the ear lobes using your thumbs and four fingers place the thumbs on the temples move them clockwise 3 times anti clockwise 3 times and again clockwise 3 times place your palms on your eyes 
massage the nose by pressing the sides of the nose with the little fingers from top to bottom. Do this exercise three times. Place the right palm on the right side of the face and the left palm on the left side of the face. Massage the face by moving the right hand anti-clockwise. Cheek, eyebrow, forehead, temple, face and left hand clockwise. Do this exercise three times. We will now Yeah, let's look at the quick uh, video about <clears throat> massaging stomach chest area improves biomagnetic circulation, removes stagnation, and wipes off any excess. Now that we have energized, we do the massage in different postures. First, the stomach, <clears throat> then around the left leg using the right hand in the uh, right leg, I mean a right chest, uh, using the left hand. So there is no exercise that uh, is generally being done for the ears, but we do it uh, both for the ear pits as well as uh, pressing the the, uh, um, the ear, uh, ear lobes, right? So what happens is that a lot of uh, nerves ending here as well, and it is also closely connected to the brain, so it activates uh, your brain as well that yeah it, it really helps uh, overall in temple then massaging the nose and the face benefits biomagnetism is stomach just is uh, uh, flow is regulated internal organs are strengthened helps secure uh, hearing problems and regulates the functions of the air it regulates the blood circulation in face and makes the face bright. Okay. Acupressure. So, um, there are two more exercises acupressure and relaxation. So, acupressure is a technique from uh, ancient, right? And uh, uh, what it does is in, by applying pressure in different parts of the body, you actually, if there are any blockages, energy blockages, right? Energy flow, like blood flow. Uh, air flow, there is an energy flow that uh, uh, energy flow is streamlined. So the way you do is you take your left hand, bend your left hand like behind and like the the, uh, the middle three fingers of the left hand touching the uh, above the spinal cord and in the neck bone, right? Touching those in the middle three fingers. Thumb and the little finger are not touching anything. Then using the right hand's index finger and index, index finger and thumb, you press the different points in your stomach region. Right? Uh, stomach is stomach and chest are the regions where uh, when the, when there are emotional or stress, that's where the lot of black blockages happen. So you press there and you clear those energy blockages, um, and and, and uh, it it really relaxes you. Uh, 14 points that you do, um, you, you see it, right? I mean, you do the... So you start with the the chest pit, then come down two more points, then... then so then, then you do the... Uh, you go to the, uh, uh, the navel region, right? You press in different directions. So you do the 12 o'clock, which is like a fifth portion. Then you go to the six o'clock, like six. Then the now towards the right chest, towards the left chest, uh, towards the left uh, right uh, groin region, towards uh, uh, pulling the uh, navel, right? Towards the left groin region. Then the uh, um, the eleventh one is on the right chest, right between the uh, rib cage, just below the uh, rib cage, uh, in the middle of that area. And the twelfth one is on the left side, below the rib cage area. Then thirteen one is uh, 
at the end of the rib cage and between the the, the hip it is a soft portion you press there and 14th is between the navel and the uh, uh, left groin the, that portion right you press there so the, the different places like most of the places you use the index finger three places you use the thumb so that will be explained in the demo so when you press here all the any energy blockages are removed and finally you remove the the, the left hand from there you start with the left hand, three fingers touching the back of your neck, then ending with removing that hand, taking it out. So this explains what are the different regions, what points it, it kind of clears. The so short circuit of electrical energy. So that's a very important thing, right? The energy is passed to say it's an electrical energy in any part of the body would be cleared. Preventive for uh, the heart-related problems would be avoided by acupressure. So definitely adults, uh, it's, it's very important. Reduces blood pressure, regulates nervous uh, system and reduces tension. Helps in alleviating uh, insomnia. So if you have sleeping problems, this is, along with meditation, this one is, is really helpful. Energizes internal organs. Okay, let's, let's go the video. Now do the acupressure. The benefits of acupressure are short circuit of electrical energy in any part of the body would be cleared. Acupressure is a preventive for heart ailments. It reduces blood pressure. It regulates the nervous system and reduces tension. It is very helpful in alleviating insomnia. Lie down on the back and close your eyes. Pressure will be applied to 14 points in the body. Bend your left arm at the elbow joint diagonally and let the first three fingers of the left hand touch and press the top of the spine in the upper back. This position should be retained throughout the acupressure exercise. With the tip of the right index finger, press point number two which is one inch directly below the chest cavity. Other fingers should not touch the body. Thus pressing, meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Then shift the tip of the right index finger downward by one inch to point number three. As before, meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Shift the tip of the right index finger further downwards by another inch to point number four, which is one inch above the navel. Meditate here for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right index finger in the center of the navel at point number 5 and press upwards. If you imagine the navel as a clock, then point number 5 is 12 o'clock. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Next, place the tip of the right thumb in the center of the navel and press downwards. This is point number 6, corresponding to 6 o'clock. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the index finger of the right hand in the center of the navel at point number 7 and press upwards diagonally at an angle 45 degrees towards the right shoulder as if the navel clock shows 10.30. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right index finger in the center of the navel at point number 8. With the same finger, pressing upwards diagonally at an angle of 45 degrees towards the left shoulder as if the time is 1.30. If you want to eat healthy and feel your best, you got to try Kachava. Kachava is the world on the navel clock. 
We meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the right index finger in the center of the navel at point number 9 and press downwards diagonally towards the right thigh. The time on the navel clock is 7:30. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right thumb at point number 10 and press downwards diagonally towards the left thigh. The time on the navel clock corresponds to 4:30. Meditate on this point for 30 seconds. Place the tip of the right index finger at point number 11 which is 1 inch below the center of the lowest rib on the right chest. press and meditate on this point for 30 seconds in the same manner with the right index finger touch point number 12 which is 1 inch below the center the lowest rib on the left chest press and meditate on this point for 30 seconds with the right thumb press on point number 13 which is 1 inch below the extreme right side of the lowest rib meditate on this point for 30 seconds in the same way place the right index finger and press point number 14 which is on the left side exactly midway between the navel and the left groin that is the thigh joint press and meditate on this point for 30 seconds then remove both the hands from the body and keep on the floor relax for one minute keep in mind that when doing this exercise alone you can touch the skin of the body directly finally we will do the relaxation exercise the benefits are this relaxation Okay, let's go to the relaxation exercises. This is uh, more for so far like uh, actively we were uh, doing it movements. Now it is like more of a relaxation exercise where you uh, your mind focused on different parts of the body to say that okay this blood flow is going on, uh, body is getting relaxed. So it, it's more of a relaxing your body but consciously. It's very helpful in bringing down the blood pressure. it helps to prevent heart trouble if practiced regularly it reduces the tension in the body and the mind it reduces the tension in the body and the mind and brings calmness the body gets full rest it regulates the circulation of blood heat air life force and biomagnetism throughout the body lie down on the back keep the legs relaxed letting them loose the right leg to the right side and the left leg to the left side keep the hands relaxed with palms facing up close your eyes now start relaxing the body from the feet upwards relax all the 10 parts of the body one by one think of your feet and start relaxing while relaxing give this auto suggestion the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all good i am getting sufficient strength in my feet let them take rest the feet are relaxing relax 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 now think of the lower legs from the ankle up to the knee joint the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal i am getting sufficient strength in the calf muscles let them take rest they are relaxing relax 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 
now think of the knees the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the knees are sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to our knees relax 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 think of the thighs the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the thighs are sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to our thighs relax 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 think of the lower abdomen the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the lower abdomen is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to that region relax 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 think of the abdomen the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal and the abdomen is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to the abdomen relax 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 think of the chest the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the chest is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to our chest relax 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 think of the shoulders and the hands the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the shoulders and the hands are sufficiently strengthened and let us give rest to them relax 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 think of the neck the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the neck is sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to the neck relax 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 think of the face and the head the blood circulation the heat circulation the air circulation the energy circulation are all normal the face and the head are sufficiently strengthened let us give rest to them relax 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 the head is relaxed the face is relaxed the neck is relaxed the shoulders and the hands are relaxed the chest is relaxed the abdomen is relaxed the lower abdomen is relaxed the thighs are relaxed the knees are relaxed the calf muscles are relaxed the feet are relaxed the whole body is completely relaxed let us be like this for a few more minutes totally relaxing ourselves we are now completing the exercise while getting up first gently move the fingers the toes the hands and legs then put your left hand on the top roll over to the left side and with the support of the right palm 
slowly get up. So, yeah, relaxation exercise is more for the just relax after you do the exercise. All parts of the body, as explained, so whole body is completely relaxed and tension in the body is relieved. Body gets full rest, brings calmness to the mind. So that that kind of concludes reduces blood pressure, prevents heart trouble. So physical exercises are as important. Uh, as meditation at the both helps consciousness rise higher. Regular practice based dependence like no other prevents and cures diseases. All parts of the body from head to feet become healthy, regenerates the whole body, helps to build very high immunity. Um, any questions? And did you uh, did your son learn the Kaya Kalpa Yoga? Amanga, yeah. Okay, ma. Walter Walamara. People are spirited by. Okay, so Kaikal Payoha, I mean, uh, uh, for the youth, definitely Kaikal Payoha would be a, um, it, it's a, uh, would be helpful along with the physical exercise. Yeah, I just want to ensure. Thank you. Any any questions, Amma? Uh, uh, I'll be good. Okay, we'll see we'll the PPT, PPT as well as the the video link so that if there are any questions you can do it or of course we can always discuss if there are any questions okay yeah, yeah. okay yeah thank you oh this is the sun okay okay so that is uh, covered. If there are no further questions, let's conclude the session. With the blessings for the world, blessings <coughs> for the world. May rain pour on all parts of the world timely and sufficiently. May food grains grow abundantly to the satisfaction of all living beings. May the leaders of all nations progress in spiritual knowledge and do good service to humanity. May the whole world enjoy prosperity, happiness, and peace. May the whole world enjoy prosperity, happiness, and peace. War Havayaham, War Havayaham, War Havayaham. Kathiyan, yeah? Still there, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. So I think one participant. So I think I sent the invite uh, three, four days back, but it looks like it was not forwarded to everybody. I forwarded oh, okay. yesterday afternoon. <laughs> Maybe oh, I should have followed it. Generally, somebody Yara fa anpoonga. I notice when you get a three pila to come shoot. That could be oh, one of the reasons. But anyway, na I'll take care of it going forward. Yeah. Oh, at least Sunday what morning. Yeah, that is that is good enough. Yeah, that is that is fine. Yeah. Sunday morning, okay, that is very challenging. Very challenging. <laughs> People coming to everybody as a Saturday evening, Sunday morning because Monday is coming, so they didn't want to Amma. take the start the the work on Sunday itself, right? So. <laughs> நீங்க <laughs> 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 நன்றிங்க